My name is Sandra Bale. I worked at uh, Start Rights, the Norvik, Meadows, Florida, Sex Nevrads, which was my favourite. When I worked at uh, Sex Nevrads, the sort of things that was really a good family like atmosphere there, really great. And we we had great times and everybody got on with everybody else and like for instance lunchtime we'd have a um just before we would do a go back to work, we got uh, there was two men and uh, Mick and Bunny. They uh, they used to one was dressed as the Rolling Stones with the long hair, and then the other one, I don't know who he was, but he was one of the Rolling Stones, and they they got up. We used to sit at this long table, and there'd be me and this other girl, and I'd be on the nails, uh, doing the, you know, with the nails, and they'd be singing. Um, one of uh, the Rolling Stones, um, uh, thing the girl would be one of the girl the girl who I was with would be dancing and we'd be we'd have all kinds of different tools what they had at the shoe factory is the instruments and they even made a piano out of wood so that was on the table and that looked like but it was horrendous we we had a marvelous marvelous time and uh, everybody looked for that um you know at uh, dinner times. Now I come to think about it, yes, Mick used to work, dance in his pants. That's right. Yeah, he did. <coughs> but that, that's, that, oh, that was hilarious. Uh, yeah, he used to dance in his pants. And um, as I say, but the atmosphere was fantastic. And like birthdays, we'd have um, little do's, um, we'd bring in cakes and all that sort of thing. And um, I ain't got to say that was all rosy because a lot of the women, older women, it what get make sure we didn't get their jobs because the bonus, you see. And um, then at the end of the week, we'd have sweets, cakes, and you know, all that sort of thing. And um, we had a thing there called the diddle, diddlem. And what that was, was you paid in so much and then at the end of the year you get a lump sum. And the reason they called at that, so you didn't break into it. So we, we had that and and uh, there was a lot of, you know, as I say, get togethers going out and, and the social side, the singing and carrying on in there and that was really happy. We'd go out for meals and and uh, meet all out, go in the pub and have a drink and all that sort of thing, you know. And uh, it was quite... So can you remember, what were the calls? What pubs and places did you go to? Um, no, wait a minute, I can tell you one. What's that one? Duke, I think it was, in Duke Street. Because we weren't far, weren't far from there. And we used to go in there a lot. And, uh, like, dinner times or, you know, like, say, anyone had a birthday and and all that sort of thing. But there was never a dull moment. What about boyfriends? Did you have any boyfriends while you were there? Yeah, my husband. <laughs> I met my husband. That's what he said, I ought to tell you. He met, I met my husband at uh, Sexton, uh, while I was working at Sexton's, and he used to come and meet me at work, and uh, that, and I was always late. And the times I was threatened with the sack, if I was going to be late, Pete used to say, you're late one more time, that's it. But I, he never did, he never did. He, I got on well with him, really. But I was always late back, because I used to say, we're all right for another five minutes. He'd say, you'll get wrong. And uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, but I met him when I was 17, you see. And we've been married 50 years. One or two there who were carrying on with, and we're quite shocked at all that sort of thing. And there'd be, uh, uh, I can remember once one of the men come up after 
the blue got it there and of course he had to leave and yeah there was a lot of yeah there was a lot of that going on yeah mainly in the big factory you know but uh, not so much because I was Marks and Spencer's was like two rooms do you know what I mean yeah yeah and uh, yeah there was but uh, I didn't cut on them <laughs> We used to go to Yarmouth on the, on the, there'd be a lot of get drunk and, and that sort of thing, but, uh, So did you go on a coach to Yarmouth? What yeah. happened? Yeah, we went on a coach. They picked the coach up at Sexton's or Norvik. I went on one at Norvik, I know. And, um, we used to go to the shows and, uh, then, you know, we'd have a meal. Stop on the way, have fish and chips or and good old sing song and and they'd get drunk and all that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, and dress up then, you know, with the the summer uh, the Yarmouth the hats and the oh dear, yeah, it was good, yeah. yeah. And I say, say we'd come home and on the coach and have a good old sing song like you do and. And laughing. Anyone who had a heart would take in your arm. You know, Silla Black. Yeah. Brilliant. No, no, he didn't. <laughs> or we'd have um, uh, The Searchers, one of their songs. Did you have girlfriends at this place as well? Oh, that yeah. Together? That's how I met my husband, through one of the girls went there. She, she, uh, she met this boy who lived near my husband and she wanted me to go to the old time musical with her mother and they dressed all up in the hats and, and things. But um, we didn't, I didn't go there, but she said his mate had got a mate, which was my husband. And then that's how we met through, I met him through, through her. Yeah, I got, um, now and again, girls, in them factories, though, could be very bitchy. I I mean that they can be very bitchy behind your back and and all that sort of thing. And if you done took their work or or anything, you know, they never liked that. She she used to ride all her. No, she used to be really on the ball. Like I told you, you took her. You you done more than what she done. So. They used to play pranks on her, like when they come round at break time with the roll, stowed her rolls up and all that sort of thing, yeah. <laughs> but she couldn't stick dinner times with all the row going on with us with the I'm going to tell you how it's going to be with the nails and the the, because you can imagine, can't you, what that was? You'd have so many. They'd have it come up from the big factory with all the. Um, shoes on a rack and uh, like you'd have so many to do but the more you did the more you did the more bonus you got you see but if you they if you got ahead and took more of the jobs they didn't like it especially the old ladies they used to get <laughs> they used to get really irate that they did they get really uptight and then up that door go and uh, Peter used to have to come and sort us out but mainly that was a lovely lovely atmosphere and I think out of all my jobs that apart from school dinners that was the main one at Sexton's. I'd done everything in there, I'd done shoe, shoe cleaning, I'd done um, where you, you you patched like a shoe up Say it had a little hole in it, I used to have to cover it, that sort of thing. And um, then I'd done boxing, I'd done skiving, <laughs> and I'd done putting um, these soles in with, you know, with the um, shoes. When I told you I worked with the men, they used to wind me up a lot about my boyfriend and everything. But uh, they were quite good fun. And I must say, men are more better to work with. 
than women. You get on, they answer. That's so nasty to say that, but I can't speak how I feel. And I knew I, wherever I went in factories, I found that wherever I went, um, I got on better. And you'd think, you know, and they do respect, you know, they did did me, they didn't, you know, they swore, oh, I said, don't worry about it. <laughs> but they used to, they used to think, well, of course, men are like that, aren't they? You know, but... Where Angie, my sister, she stayed at Start Rights, and she tell you some stories as well. She had, she was in the big factory, and secondly, um, what uh, she worked at Macintosh. That's where she finished there, and but no, like my bro, my my husband worked at Clark's shoe factory. Barry's brother worked at Bally's and Start Rights. His uncle worked at Bally's and Start Right. We that's all been a shoe factory thing, do you know what I mean?